Samudraki started as a love story. I came to this island with my small children and a number of friends. And I was, from the first moment, I was enthusiastic about this place. But I have been very worried about this island. I was observing its, I would say, decline. I saw that this, this island was ecologically, and I wasn't so sure whether also socially, in a precarious situation. For already from the start, uh, we intend this, this, um, the results and the knowledge generated to be useful for the community and for the people living on the island. It is a very interesting situation to start a project on the sustainable future of an island where you don't know what the sustainable future or the non-sustainable future of the country will be. Being Greek as well, I think, makes a motiv an extra motivation for me to, to see this process really having an effect. I think, I think there is a lot of personal motivation in the whole team. So the whole idea is really now, and this links to island studies that I have been part of all over the world, yeah? to have a really system perspective on both the social, cultural, economic system on that island and the ecological, natural resource system of that island. And you have to then investigate how they interlink. We didn't come from the sky, we have been visiting the island from uh, already many years and uh, some of those ideas that are in part of the project are actually generated by people living on the island. One of the, one of the goals of the project is to contribute to an ongoing effort to um, put Samothraki in the network uh, of um, a UNESCO network uh, of biosphere reserves. Sometimes you need a small group of people that uh, are pioneers and when things get bad, other people will join in as well. If they see there is an alternative that is working, uh, that's how social change works. I am I'm curious how it will evolve and I am I trust the local population to act wisely.